This is the first part of an 8 part series that will show you how to use SOLIDWORKS Motion. This part shows you how to use key points to animate components within an assembly. The CAD models that are used in this series can be downloaded from the SOLIDWORKS teacher blog. The link will be posted in the description. Open the motion study from the bottom left corner. This is your timeline. Drag this out to 2 seconds. Then rotate one of the components. When you let go, it will place this key point. The green bar shows that there is a transition from the initial key point to the second key point. Highlight all the components and then click on this button to add a key point. A key point basically tells a part where it needs to be at a certain point in time. When you drag the timeline across, SOLIDWORKS will calculate the motion between 0 and 2 seconds. Rotate this component again, and when you let go, it will place another key point. Repeat the process. As you can see, it places these green bars, which mean that there is a transition from the previous key point to the next key point. There are a few parts that do not require a transition, such as the base, so they do not have a green bar. This makes sense because they do not move. When you are done, click on the Play From Start button to play the entire animation from the start. It will calculate the parts that have not been calculated while it is playing it. This could cause it to appear choppy, but the final animation will be a lot smoother. If you have made a mistake and you want to delete a key point, simply highlight the key points you want to delete, and then right click on one, and press delete. Notice that the green bars have also been removed, indicating that there is no longer a transition. I hope you find this video helpful.